What's up guys, this is Justin Yanagita with YanagitaFitness.com and today I had a question about CrossFit guys. Um, so let's just go right into it. So I know some guys have always been asking me what is my opinion on CrossFit, can you do a video? And, uh, sure, so just like before I say anything, right? I have a lot of friends, a lot of colleagues, uh, a lot of people I know who are doing uh, well in CrossFit because they know how to substitute exercises, uh, make sure they can do it without injuring themselves, and focus on actual uh, fitness 80% of the time, and not worry too much about what CrossFit is doing for the competition, and uh, regionals, and stuff like that. Not the CrossFit games, right? So not, they're not putting the emphasis on that. Because, I, I tell anybody, if you're focusing on any sporting event, doesn't matter how gentle or whatever it is, you're gonna get injured. Doesn't matter. Some of the most least contact sports, golf, uh, for instance, right? People pull out their shoulder when they're getting ready for uh, golfing events, right? It happens when they're getting ready. And for me, when I used to do wrestling and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, man, I mean, Jiu Jitsu is called the gentle R, but you best believe when you're getting ready for a competition, all hell breaks loose. I mean, injuries are like one of those things that's just gonna happen and you just gotta work around them. Uh, because when you're going 100% getting ready for a competition, whether it's CrossFit or anything, your, the technique, even if it slips up just a little bit, right? And for instance, uh, if we're doing Olympic lifting for CrossFit, 21 reps, and you're trying to rush through it with weight, right? Oh my gosh. Um, most of the time, you might be able to get 21 reps, no problem. But if you slip up just a little bit, you're a little bit extra tired more than normal, you didn't sleep well the, uh, the night before or something, right? You had a bad day at work, and that one rep slips, you crush your collarbone, or, or even worse, something just, uh, you bust up your wrist, or whatever happens, right? Injuries are always gonna happen when you're training for a sporting event. I used to get injured all the time when getting ready for a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu competition. Whether it's my wrist, my fingers, my shoulder, my ankle, my hips, whatever it was. And that's just the nature of getting ready for a sporting event. You gotta suck it up and uh, get ready just for the event. But that's just what I think it is too. And I think people get it all wrong when they think of CrossFit as like a fitness thing. Uh, oh, I, I should get the, uh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean that. but. Meaning where there's a lot of boxes, boxes of gyms that focus too much on competition, right? They're focusing on how do I get to regionals? How do I get to CrossFit Games? How do I go to the grand stage, right? How do I get sponsored? Um, and when you start thinking like that, then exercise becomes dangerous, right? Because you're flinging over, a, over you know, a lot of weight. With Olympic lifting is beautiful when done correctly, and in low repetitions, right? That's, that's just my opinion. Um, I'm probably wrong. Some coaches will probably recommend doing 10 reps, 15 reps. No, I, I don't think so. I don't think I've ever met a Olympic lifting coach. Recommend more than eight reps on anything. Uh, anyway, so I'm like jumping around back and forth, back and forth, but you got the point, guys. That's just my opinion. You're gonna get hurt if you're getting ready for any sporting event, guys. That's just nature of the athlete, right? You push, 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 and you just work around your injuries. Um, that's the video, guys. Hope this video helped you guys. And uh, leave a comment, like or dislike this, guys. Um, let me know what you guys think, honestly. Uh, if I'm wrong, tell me. Have a great day.